Adam, first of all, congratulations on the new contract. You must be delighted to have the club show this vote of confidence in you. Yeah, um, I'm over the moon. It's, um, it's exciting for me and my family. I think um, obviously over the last year and a half has been it's been tough for me, but I came back and worked hard. And look, the, the club showed a lot of faith in me and, and rewarded me well with the hard work. So I'm, I'm really happy they've, they've done that. What was the process of the deal? Is it something you even had to think about at all? Uh, no, I think um, I've said it before. I think um, I love this club. I've been here since I was about 15, 16 now, and and they have showed a lot of faith in me. And I, I do see a there is a big path for me at this club to to progress and be a better player. So it's it's a no brainer for me at the end of the day. Once once the offer came in, I knew that I was going to sign it. You had a bit of a tough start to this season. How are you feeling now in terms of your fitness and just looking ahead to the rest of the campaign? Uh, right now, I think my fitness, um, I'm at a good level. I think uh, when I came back from the second surgery, I, I knew I had to work really hard to, to get back fully fit and to try and get as much minutes as I can playing with the team. And Right now, I'm, I'm confident and the team's doing well at this moment, so overall, I'm very happy. What have been some of your highlights in a Norwich shirt? Is there any moments or games that stand out for you? Um, I think for me, probably the, the biggest game was probably the FA Cup game where I scored, scored the hat-trick. That's probably one of the, the main highlights for me. But then again, making my Premier League debut was, was really good. I had all my family there watching me, so that was a great moment as well. There's been some change here recently in terms of staff and players. How have you found a transition under the new head coach? Yeah, it's been really good. You know, He's, he's very um, transparent with us. We all, we're all on board with what he wants to do. and. I think everyone, staff and players, have taken it in very good. And as you can see on the pitch, we're performing a lot better and getting results. So um, I think everyone's over the moon with the with the new staff and just ready to crack on and get going. What are the main things you've noticed that have been different over the past few weeks? Um, the, the biggest thing for me is probably the intensity in training. I think um, there's no slack and I think he, he wants us to be 100% all the time and that brings that brings out on the pitch. I think um, you can tell once we're, we're playing together, there's a, there's a whole different um, team there. I think uh, everyone's on the same page and it's really good to, to, to play on there. And he, he's good off the pitch as well. You know, you can speak with him whenever you want and you can have a bit of a laugh, but once there's training and games, it's, it's serious. And for you then on the training pitch, you're obviously working closely with the likes of uh, Timu Pukki and Joss Sargent. Is every day still a learning day for you? You're relatively young as well still. No, 100%. I think everyone's still learning. I don't think anyone's mastered the game really. I think uh, every day is a different opportunity to, to learn something new. And Obviously, I've got great players like Team and Josh to, to train with. And to be up against great defenders in my team is, is really good for me. So every day is a, a learning day for me. You have a birthday coming up soon. and. As I said, you're, you're still very young, but you've achieved quite a lot in terms of you've over 60 appearances for Norwich, you've represented your country. What are the next steps for you? Yeah, for me right now, I think I'm just focused on, on this season and do the best we can individually and as a team. And Obviously, the main goal for us this season is to get promoted and that's what I'd want to do, just finish this season off and do the best we can. And In terms of... Um, after that, I think I uh, just have to keep working hard and see what comes.